All right, everybody, welcome back to GR Knives. Today, I got a video for you about my case knives that, are, that I have that are designed by Tony Bowes. So as you can see, I got five case knives that are designed by Tony Bowes, and I'll set these over to the side, so we'll go largest to, mine smallest to largest. Okay, so first here, I got a case, it's a uh, Swayback Jack, it has the two blades, there's the Warncliffe blade on it, it's a 2016, there's the other side of the blade, it's got some scratches on it, I've used it quite a bit. So the handles, they are the, uh, I think it's the Cramson or Red uh, Barn Board Jig Bone. Well, the camera kind of looks orange, but it's Radish Cramson collar. It's got the Nickel Silver Bolster shields, Shield and uh, Bolsters. There's the uh, pin blade. Yeah, a couple scratches on it. Let me get my fingerprints off of it. There you go. This knife right here, it's Tang Stamp, if we can see it. Might be able to see it. Can't tell. But it is. Let me try to see it. TB62117. So there's that one. Just the regular case oval shield. So there's that one. And then I have this case. It's a, a teardrop jack. And this is in the bone stag handles. This is a, uh, I think it's a 20... 2021. It's got that spear point blade on it. There's the other side. Show you the other side of the handle. Bone stag. I like it. It's it's almost as good as stag, but I, I'll show you a stag knife here in a second. I'll show you the difference in it. There's the back springs on that one. So there's that one. And then here's this Tony Bowes. It's a, a sow belly pattern. It's in raspberry or strawberry bone handles or covers. And it's got the uh, silver script. I reckon it'd be shield. Here you can see this one. It's got that good looking clip point blade with a swedge on it. Can't remember what year this one is. 2001. So that one there is a 2001 year. And there's a sheep's foot blade. Might be able to see the number on this one. I'm not sure. I can get the camera to focus. Might be able to see it there. I don't know. But the number on it is TB6339. And this is a stainless steel. So there's that blade. And then there's the spade blade. It's got that big swedge cut down the back of it right there. You might be able to see it better like that. Yeah. So there's that knife. And then here's another sow belly. So here's the stag, like regular stag. And then there's the bone stag. Be able to tell the difference. They're pretty close, but 
you can, there's a pretty good, just different in them because how they do the bone stack, they get like the little ridges inside the grooves, as you can see. So there's bone stack compared to stag. But this one, you guys have already seen on my channel more than likely. It's the exact same as the last sow belly I showed you. Except for this one has carbon steel and the stag. And I reckon the nail neck on this one, on the sheep slip blade, is different. So on this one, the nail neck's right there. On this one, the nail neck on the sheep's foot is over there. So it's kind of hard getting used to if you're used to the way this one is. But there's that blade. And then there's the spade blade. And then next I got a uh, case Panama Trapper. This I think is in the uh, Rogers Jig Corn Cop. I'm pretty positive. With I think that might be the bow tie shield, but I'm not sure. On this one, it's got that big long clip point. You got the big swedge down the spine of it. That's one I've used quite a bit. So there's that big clip point blade, and then on the other side is I'm gonna call this a Nesmuk blade just because it looks like the old Nesmuk fixed blades. You got that swooping up blade and it comes back down. But might be able to see the model number on there. This one is a uh, TB62546 USA. This one has stainless steel blades. And this knife right here, it's a big old knife. There it is compared to a uh, sow belly. It's a big knife and it's a thick knife. I like to pack it in a uh, cowboy style sheath. Just kind of. Here's a picture of it. So that right there just fits in up perfect. So there's that. So here's my case Tony Bowes knife collection. All the ones that he designed that I have. There's still a couple more I don't have. Like uh, for sure I know the tribal lock I don't have and maybe a couple more but off the top of my head that's all I can think of. So if you guys like this video hit the like button. If you guys want to see more content like this hit the subscribe button and I'll catch you guys next time.